Hello Tom Nation, it's your boy Tom, and today we're going to be talking about Windows Spy. Uh, it's a program script that comes pre-installed with AutoHotKeys version 1 and 2. Uh, this question comes up a lot because I guess just the name of it is called Windows Spy. So a lot of people get like a little iffy about it. They're like, oh my gosh, it's spying on me, it's spyware, or whatever. It's not. I, I agree. The name is a little confusing, um, but it's a very useful tool. Um, so we're just going to talk about that. Um, I know also a lot of people when you download auto hotkeys, uh, it should install fine, but every so often you can maybe run Windows Spy and it'll say like, hey, do you trust this program? As long as you downloaded it from the official auto hockey website, you're good to go. It's not going to do anything. It's just for grabbing data. Uh, that's going to help you code uh, for certain types of functions and whatnot. So if you don't even know what this is, we're going to show you where it is, what it does, just a brief intro to it. Um, so as long as you didn't, you know, have it installed somewhere random on your computer, this is where it should be. If you did have it randomly installed, well, hopefully you know where it is. Um, but we're going to go to our main hard drive. We're going to go to Program Files. Uh, once you get in here, uh, you're just looking for auto hockey. So here's auto hockey for me, and we're just going to see it right here for Windows Spy. Uh, it has the auto hockey uh, logo there. It's a script, uh, but it's really useful. So let's go ahead and launch that. We can close our Explorer here, and here we go. So this grabs like a bunch of different types of data. Uh, depending on what you're looking for. Let's open Notepad here real quick, and we'll use that as our example target window. Um, and basically what it's doing is it's live tracking your mouse. So if I hover over Notepad, you can see right here it's saying, you know, the name of the window is Untitled Notepad, which is correct right here. Uh, the class is Notepad. The exe is called Notepad.exe. Uh, the process ID, the HK ID. Um, this is useful for when you're like targeting a specific window, uh, like if when active or uh, run command uh, for the notepad, uh, stuff like that. Another useful thing is the next position, uh, which is mouse position. This is great for uh, like pixel search, image search, or just mouse movements or clicking in specific spots. Um, so there's a few options. There's screen, which is going to take the whole screen's X and Y coordinates, um, which is probably not the best way to do it, uh, depending on what type of functionality you're trying to accomplish there, just because it could be really all over the place. Uh, you know, notepad right here, if I have the X and Y coordinates click here, but then I move it down here, those X and Y coordinates are going to click on my desktop instead. Um, so a little bit more accuracy would be doing uh, the window uh, coordinates. So it's doing X and Y solely based on this. Uh, there's also the client, that way if there's multiple windows. And then there's color, uh, which it's FFFFF, which is just white. So that's fine. Um, if I go maybe back here, you can see it's changing to like the shade of blue or whatever color this is. Uh, you're fine. Um, another one is the uh, control under mouse position. Um, the class is like edit one. Uh, I don't honestly use these ones very often. Um, I mean, you can grab the height, the width here, which can be useful. Um, active window position, that's where this program actually is. So like, for example, if I move it down here, uh, it's targeting. That way, if I say like I do a run command and I want this window to open in a specific spot on my screen, I can use these uh, coordinates to get that information and have it open where I want it or, you know, whatever other functionality. Um, there's a few other ones like visible text. Um, these are going to um, not always actually show like that kind of text. It's more, honestly, I haven't used that one very much and all text too. Uh, sometimes the programs, it can capture that information. Some others, it can't. Um, another thing to look at is, um, there we go. So hello world, hello world. It did grab that, but a lot of like video games, sometimes it's not going to be able to grab that information. Um, more simple. Uh, another thing you might notice that why I'm showing you in this video 
it's live tracking my mouse. So even though this is the main focused window, if I move my mouse here, it's now looking at my desktop. If I move it over here, it's now looking at um, Windows Spy for HK2. Um, if for some reason I have this way over here and over here, obviously moving from here to here, I can do it real fast and it's pretty much good. But if I'm moving a long distance and I'm being slow, it's going to lose that. So something you can do, and it reminds you down here at the bottom, hold Control shift to suspend updates. So I can hold Control shift and it changes the text to update, suspend it. So look, I can sit here and move my mouse all over. That information's locked in. That way I can get my mouse over here, let go of Control shift and the data's still there. It hasn't uh, switched over to here. Um, I can also just push it again, and it's going to, yep, there it goes, <clears throat> uh, start looking at my desktop or wherever my mouse is. Um, you can also do follow mouse. Uh, you can turn that off. That's just going to be more if I want to use clicks instead. So as you see, it's, for the most part, it's still following certain things like the color. Um, but if I go over here, it's still focused on my desktop. I can click here, move over. Um, so it really depends uh, what you want. Uh, to do but that's pretty much all there is on here uh, but it's super helpful it's the fastest way to get a lot of different types of information depending on what you're looking for um, but yeah if you want to know more about that definitely check out videos specific to the functionality you're trying to find and then use Windows Spy to kind of move over and see what you uh, guys want. Now, this is for HKV2. Uh, the one for V1 is, I think, for the most part, exactly the same. I don't think they really changed anything except for the, the code that it's using. It's just been converted to uh, the different syntax. So you should be good regardless. If you know V1, you're going to know V2 and vice versa. It's not going to matter. Um, to close it, simply just push the X button and it's gone and you're good. Uh, if you guys uh, have any questions about this specifically I didn't cover in the video, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'm also seeing before that there are other people who have made kind of like their own version of uh, Windows Spy with like some other different types of functionality and stuff. If you guys know where those are or have a link, definitely put that in the comments below. Uh, I forget, I, I know I've seen like one or two uh, where people have modified it or just completely created their own. One of them I saw a long time ago. Um, but yeah. All right, everybody. Um, hope you enjoyed this video, found it useful. Hopefully it answers questions about is it, you know, spyware? It is not. Once again, you're fine. It's safe to use. It's very helpful. And I'll see you all on the next video. Peace out.